My name is Enrico Mastriani, and I'm the uh, head men's basketball coach, first ever head men's basketball coach in Georgia Court University history. You know, it's funny, when, uh, when I first became a head coach, um, there was an article written that said, uh, you know, Centenary hires defense first head coach. And uh, that's always been my mantra. I was a defense guy. You know, as a player, I was a defense guy. As, a, as an assistant, I was a defense guy. That was what my emphasis was. And uh, our first, I think, maybe in uh, three of our first six or seven games, we scored over 100 points, and all of a sudden I was called an offensive guru. So I, I think when it comes down to your style, what you believe in, uh, what you like to do as a coach, it's really a feel thing. I mean, I, I there are players that I like that I know fit the way I want to play, uh, which is an up-tempo style offense, aggressive, you know, man-to-man -man attacking defense. And, uh, you know, our special teams game is, is important to me too, what we do on – on free throws, sideline out of bounds, things like that. It's, you know, those parts will remain consistent, but along the way, you make changes. You have to, otherwise you can't survive. So, so what, you know, I don't think it's fair to say that any certain coach is a certain, you know, this is his style and that's what he does because the game is ever changing and evolving. And if you want to stay caught up with it, you have to change too. Well, uh, again, the, uh, you know, the experience that, that I'm experiencing right now, what I'm going through right now, is completely different uh, from anything else uh, that I've ever known. Because in past experiences, I've come into programs where I've already had a roster. There have been guys on the team. And then you try to put in pieces, you fill in the gaps, and you try to say, okay, we need a shooting guard or we need a big man, and this is what we're going to do. This is totally different. We need everything. Uh, you know, at this point right now, I'm, I'm recruiting to try to bring in 12 to 15 guys to be our, our team next season for the 2013-14 season. And uh, that's a big challenge, but it's a great opportunity. I think, you know, I found that a lot of guys are interested in being a part of this program. It's a very exciting buzz around campus right now. Um, you know, the, the opportunities are endless, and, and uh, what we can do here as a program and its inception is, is really exciting. Well, I've, I've had uh, some good experiences in the past where I've been involved with coaches um, that have, you know, helped guide me into the kind of style and, and the coaching philosophies that I, I've adopted now at this point in my career. Um, coming from originally Misericordia University, which was a mercy institution just like Georgian Court, uh, that transition to this as far as community and, and atmosphere and philosophy uh, has been very consistent for me. It's, it's what I've known and what I've appealed to. Um, my, my most recent experience as the, the head coach of Centenary College in New Jersey uh, for the past four seasons has also prepared me to be a head coach, to build a program. Uh, there are a lot of things, at the, especially at the Division three level, which is where I've come from, uh, that you have to do as a head coach that may not necessarily be the same as a Division two program um, with regard to fundraising um, and recruiting is even different. So. So there are experiences that are different, but yet at the same time, I think whatever you learn along the way is obviously helpful in guiding you towards what your, your style, your philosophy, your beliefs are going to be as a head coach. Um, you know, at Georgian Court, we have tremendous opportunity with regard to facilities. Uh, athletics, you know, is, is a, great, uh, a great part and contributor to our community. And, and I think when you add in a program like men's basketball, we've got an advantage uh, within the conference, it's brand new. It's totally new and uh, you know, we've got, got the, right, the right tools to make it successful here.